live. Oh my God, what I have done with my dress. Oh my God, all transparent. I'm all transparent today. Hello, my sweet darlings. Well, look, I think it's better like that. Or should I show a little bit of my back there? Is it good? No. Yes, better. Or maybe I should go here and a little bit there. I'm sorry. Oh my God, all transparent. Yes, I'm completely transparent. Completely transparent. Hello, my sweet YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. And um, what should I say? What, what do I say normally? I hope you are fine. I'm doing and doing absolutely fabulous you know all the blah 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 you know already when i start look at this i finished my gloves and i'm so proud look it took me a while i had this glove that i bought i don't even remember where probably aliexpress and um it's a good material because it's stretching. And what I did is I had a lot, a lot of rhinestones, just as I did here with my dress. All right, so why I'm here? I have a makeup on that I will soon take off. Um, I spoke to a friend of mine, Alex. Um, he's not a professional photographer, Alex is a he likes doing photos. And uh, I said, we spoke, we met like less two weeks ago. We went to the park for some sun. And I said, Alex, what are you doing next week? We could do some pictures. Why not? You come to House of Love. I do a makeup and we do something together. And he said, all right, let's do it. And uh, he came here today. I did a makeup using uh, Nick, your mirror. Nick gave me this mirror, but <laughs> I told you, Nick, the problem is it's not powerful enough for me. So I did the entire makeup with this mirror that I don't see very well what's going on. So, all right, I think it's not bad because I, I have a little bit of a technique, so it's okay. And after I said, you know what, it's for some pictures. We are gonna play with the lights and everything. That's why I use a lot of light here. When I can see now in the video that it's really white here, but it, we did it for a purpose because we used a special filter. It was not bright uh, white light. It was a light with a tone of purple and orange because I changed it twice in my wigs. So I, I needed a lot of white here because otherwise it was just, my makeup was too kind of orange. I cannot explain you in words, but you will see the results as soon as I've got the pictures. About the pictures. So we started doing some portraits. I started with the orange wig, that's why. Uh, we were playing with uh, orange filters and everything. And after I, I changed it, I put this on, the very dark red wig. And um, the dress I didn't change. I used this dress. Oh my God, I'm fat. Yes, I am fat. I'm wearing my hip pads. This is very, very transparent. But we were playing with the lights and in the end, in the very end, Alex had a great idea. He placed a light uh, on my back. And we did a sequence of gorgeous, gorgeous portraits. Really, it was really beautiful because you can see all the transparent dress. Oh my God. And uh, there is this light behind me and I look like a goddess coming from heaven, from paradise, not hell, 
paradise. And it was very, very nice. I was very happy. Alex was very happy. He said, oh my God, I, I had a great afternoon with you, sugar. Now he's gone and I decided to do this little video because um, I said, why not? Because it's I never have the opportunity when I, very rarely, when I am at Shemamo working, I, you know that I'm working every weekend there. I always tell people that I will do a video, but darlings, believe me, it is impossible. If you are a drag queen and you are watching me right now, you probably know this. It's extremely difficult once you have your makeup on, unless you did your makeup long before, unless you have a break of one hour, two hours before the show, then you can get organized and everything and do your videos, your vlogs, your pictures. But if you finish your makeup like 40 minutes before your show and you have to go downstairs, talk to the customers and everything, it's a very, very little time because once you finish talking to the customers, you have to go upstairs and you have start, you have to change for the first number. And once you start the show, darling, is each 30 minutes, every 30 minutes, I have to do a show. So we don't have the time. And uh, by the end of the show, of course, your makeup is gone. And uh, it's terrible. It's really terrible. But anyway, so that's the last look. Alex told me that uh, probably tonight or tomorrow he's going to send me the pictures. And then I can work a little bit more and everything. And that's it, my darlings. Wow, a lot of things are going on here. I, as I told you, I'm working every weekend. On Friday, this Friday, I will be... I have to do my makeup really, really uh, earlier than the normal uh, because I must get ready by six o'clock. So let's start. I will start at four because around seven I, I am in Ghent. Ghent is a city here near, near 40 minutes from Brussels because Lisa, my friend Lisa, photographer, She's going to do a big, big exhibition about me, um, about my transformation. In fact, it's a very, very special um, e e exhibition because I am showing the back stage, if we can say it. But I am getting ready. I am fixing my makeup. I'm taking off my makeup. So it's a series of portraits of me not entirely in drag it's in the twilight zone i am in the twilight zone i am like a a creature it's a creature i'm not a drag i'm not um myself out of drag and it's um it's a very very um interesting approach to drag I know a lot of drags, they don't like to expose themselves out of drag or in this time when they are not completely dressed. But um, I understood what Lisa wanted. She really wanted something different, completely different from what some drags propose. And you know, I'm a very open artist. And I told her, I completely understand what you want. Let's do it. And uh, you know what? It's something about uh, we've been doing for the exhibition. I mean, it, it took like one year and a half to get all the portraits. And after she was working with um, a collective of artists and they were following, following her work, following the progress of our work, and they were also guiding her, telling her, what do you think about this kind of portrait? Uh, what do you think about that thing? Should you do that? Could you do that? Can you do this? And uh, we tried a lot of situations. For instance, in the very end, uh, she already did um, a sequence of me taking off my makeup. And after they spoke a lot and they went for the technical side of the pictures. 
and they found out that it was missing something because I mean um, too bright to when I was taking off my makeup with, with the oil it was uh, shining too much and everything and she told me I'm afraid we have to do again the sequence of taking off makeup I said all right so she came here and I told her listen I've I used to do videos for YouTube before taking off my makeup and I already had a kind of technique of doing it a sequence of movements and uh, things to do in order to get the right um, shots so she told her I completely trust you so what do you want to do I said let's do it like this like that and uh, I told her you just I go slowly and you just do the pictures and if you need me to stop you tell me so and I will do and that's what I did I start taking my makeup very very slowly and I was taking a little bit of my lips very slowly and everything and uh, we did I did this the entire makeup first after I finished my lips I start taking off one eye little by little little by little parts by parts and after the contouring and after I use the oil and I took everything off and everything this sequence she got it's fabulous so we have several like three or four maybe out of all the the series but they are really really special and that's it so I go to Ghent and for the opening because I have to be there I want to be there and I will be in drag but I want to do you know without the wig I want to do like um, my entrance will be like uh, um, a star coming in the afternoon in a place I don't know in a theater to talk to the manager I want a uh, a headpiece I don't want wig if I can find the right glass sunny glass you know not too dark I want to play this character I'm going to check the exhibition if everything is okay and after um, I will stay there to wait something I'm, I'm not going to stay too long because I have to go back to Brussels I have to come here because I have a show that starts at midnight so it's going to be a very, very interesting weekend, all right? But uh, I will try to do videos, I will at least a little vlog in my exposition, in my exhibition, so you can have an idea what's what I've done. And uh, okay, so she explained to me, uh, it's a big room with 20 portraits of me. Um, that is something written telling people what it is about and blah 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 I think before you get you get in the room and after you have those 20 and next to this room that is another room with some chairs and that is um, my interview I gave her an interview she asked me something like uh, 20 questions and I'm answering her and uh, that is a video of me of myself that I did long time ago, beautiful video that she put, I did for her. I prepared the video in slow motion, so it's like 15 minutes, the same, it was a video of three minutes, I put in a very, very slow motion, like repeated two, three times, so it's 15 minutes, because the interview is 15 minutes, so it's, um, I am moving in color, but it's very pale colors, and I'm, my look was kind of uh, 30s when I was when I, once I did a makeup of Jean Harlow, inspired by Jean Harlow. So the character is really 30s, and uh, that's it. And uh, you can hear my voice, the interview, and everything. And it's going to be a very very interesting uh, exhibition. I'm very proud to be part of this project. So Lisa, thank you so much for inviting me and accepting me to share with you my world and my and my passion so that's it my darlings well i would love to tell you more stuff but i think this is not the moment as you know very soon i have to go away 
I mean, I have to leave this place. So House of Love must find a place. I'm still thinking, what should I do? Where should I go? But I will let you know, okay? Um, this week, I was thinking that if I had the time in the future, I would like to start a kind of playlist in three languages, in English, in French, and in Portuguese, maybe Italian, I'm not sure, I have to think about it, and um, they're gonna be private playlists, playlists. And uh, because I was thinking, if I have the time, I could organize myself and prepare little courses um, where I can teach you how to do stuff of drag. But uh, I, I was still, I'm still thinking, how can I do it? Because I would like to do it in a, in a simple way, but in a way that I am ta I'm talking to you without any. Uh, you know, not too complicated, but in yeah, in a very simple way, and teach you some techniques of makeup, of drag or cross dresses, whatever about drag, and uh, I should post it in a in a private uh, way, if I can express myself correctly. Um, and after, you know, ask people to pay for it. You know, not a lot, but a little bit. So it was, yeah, I'm still thinking how to do it. So it's going to be private courses. Oh, somebody said hello. Marco Valentin. Marcos. Super kisses to you. Marcos Valentin. Portuguese? Italiano? Hmm. So that's it, my darlings. I have to take off this makeup because I want to go home and do some stuff. Because, yeah, I have a few things to do. All right? So that's my dress. Oh, my God. Completely transparent. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's what you've got today. All right, my darlings. Thank you for watching. Marcos Valentim, Brasil! Marcos, você é brasileiro, Marcos. Então, eu te mando um beijão pra você. Eu sei que as pessoas... Ah, eu fiz um vídeo em português. Uh, com a minha irmã, com a Fernanda Lust. Eu não sei se você viu o vídeo. Ali eu tiro sarro no, no povo que desce o cacete em mim aí no Brasil. Eu não sei se você viu o vídeo. Dê uma olhada lá. O povo fala que eu sou prostituta na Europa. Você acredita? Você acredita? Na minha idade eu tenho que ouvir coisas do gênero. Enfim, eu fiz um vídeo com a minha irmã, então dê uma olhada lá atrás. Com a Fernanda Lust. Oh, so, that's it, my darlings. I must go now, really, believe me. Babado, não vi, mas já gostei. Marcos, dá uma olhada, menino. Como é que você não viu? Dá uma olhada. É um vídeo curto, é um vídeo curto. Eu tava sem voz, agora eu tô recuperando minha voz. Mas é, é engraçado, porque eu vi isso da boca de um amigo meu, de um grande amigo meu, que voltou pra minha cidade e ele disse que ele ouviu isso do, do povo. Mas como eu venho de uma cidade do interior do Brasil, e eu conheço, eu conheço da onde, eu lembro da onde eu venho, eu lembro da mentalidade... Uh, ele me disse assim, ah, eu cruzei com o pessoal da, da tua época, da época que você morava aqui, e aí, não sei porquê, porque ele tinha vindo pra cá, ele tinha vindo pra Europa me visitar. Aí ele falou, então, eu, eu falei que tive na Bélgica, que eu falei com você, não sei o quê, aí o pessoal, nossa, ah, é verdade, mas então você encontrou com ele? Porque a gente ouviu dizer que ele é prostituta lá, né, ele virou travesti, ele é prostituta. Meu amigo falou, não, que é isso, gente? que é isso? Que prostituta? Que travesti? Ele é drag queen. Sim, ele é drag queen, mas ele trabalha num cabaré famoso da cidade, ele é um artista reconhecido na cidade, até em outros países ali perto da Bélgica, 
já estive na França, já fiz show na Holanda várias vezes, já fui para a Alemanha, já fui para Polônia, e Inglaterra, já fiz performance na, em Londres. Aí ele falou assim, não, vocês não sabem o que você... Não, mas a gente ouviu dizer que ele é travesti. Ele falou, não, gente, o que, que é isso? Eu me senti mal? Nem um pouco, porque eu conheço. Eu conheço aquele povo da antiga, da minha cidade. E eu conheço do que eles são capazes de fazer. Aliás, isso é um pouco do, do interior, né? Do Brasil. Essa coisa de ficar querendo tomar conta da vida dos outros, né? Então, eu, eu ri. Eu ri porque eu não tenho nada para provar para ninguém. E antes... E, uh, uh, mesmo se eu fosse prostituta na Europa, isso é um problema que diz respeito a mim e não a ninguém mais. Aí meu, a minha irmã falou assim, nossa, se a gente fosse prostituta aqui na Europa, a gente tava rica, né? Verdade. É, Marcos... É assim, faça suas coisas e não dê atenção ao que os outros falam de você. A não ser que o que eles falam te ajuda, tá? Sucesso pra você. Obrigado, Marcos. Um chat pra você especial. My darlings, I go now because I've got a lot of things to do and a little time to do it. And I will try my best. I will go home. If I get the pictures tonight, if Alex has the time to send me the pictures, I will try to Photoshop a little bit because Photoshop is our friend. Not a lot, you know. I don't do a lot of Photoshop. The Photoshop I do, it's always when I have a portrait. There are things that you have to do it. For example, contrast. Uh, the light uh, always when you have portraits I do a little bit uh, you know more lights in the eyes because the eyes is the doors of the portraits especially if it's a short portrait like that and um, I do some Photoshop but not a lot okay Any, anyway if I do for example if you see the pictures of the girls from RuPaul They do a lot of Photoshop. It's, they are perfect. And uh, yeah, it's normal. You have to do it in order to get a beautiful, perfect image. All right? Oh, talking about Rupo. Ooh, I've got another thing to talk about before I forget. Last week, some friends of mine told me, Sugar, check uh, uh, Rupo's uh, profile on Instagram. Wow, I just saw, now saw this, isn't it? What? It, wait, my darling. Top chat. Oh, darling, sorry. I would, I have to, to organize myself in a better way. I was not going to do this live, but I just decided it was cool because I was ready. And I had few things to do. And before I, I was, I, I'm about to take to take off my makeup. I said, "Why not? Let's try." I should organize my schedules with my YouTube channel better than that. But you know, I work like this, and that's the way it works. But anyway, this video, when I do a live, the good thing about a live, it's uh, if you are on, you can check my my live. You can chat. You can chat, you can leave me a message, I can answer you. But if you don't, you can come later. Bert. Awesome. Bert Schneider, thank you so much, darling. It's a very simple look. So what I was saying, oh my God, I got lost. I got lost. Uh, oh my God, I completely got lost. I was talking about... Oh, yes. So, my my friends told me, go to RuPaul's um, profile on Instagram. And I went there, and uh, he, he just posted a, um, a message or a story. I don't know what he did. It was, it was a picture talking about House of Love, that he was launching some drinks or cocktails. I don't know. Yeah, 
I didn't have the time to read everything. Just check very fast. But they, my friends told me, you know, you're, he's, he's doing House of Love also. And uh, it's House of Love or RuPaul's. I said, darlings, um, uh, I'm sorry, but they told me you should do something about it because that's not, not fair. He's also doing House of Love. I thought a little bit and I said, RuPaul can do whatever he wants. Um, and I don't have to prove anything. My name is Sugar Love. I'm working as a drag for almost 20 years with the same name. And uh, yeah, everybody in Belgium, they know me and even abroad here, that my name is Sugar Love. I've got this channel that I started in 2007, Sugar Love Show. Since the very beginning, I, I'm, I think the first time I used videos with my name and everything was 2008 already or maybe no no i think from the very beginning but anyway i created my atelier my official atelier atelier i mean by atelier i mean studio my studio where i work i created house of love in just before coronavirus explode three months before um I had the money and I found the place and I opened my space, my studio that I named House of Love because Gaga created a House of Gaga, I think, and all queens they were using and I said, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. I, I thought studio, uh, love, but after said, no, House of Love could be nice and I created House of Love. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been here. I've done so many videos with the title, uh, House of Love, photo shooting, House of Love, girls coming to House of Love, House of Love here, House of Love there. And I said, well, some people said, oh, you're trying to copy now RuPaul. I said, I'm not trying to copy anybody. I created this house House of Love two year more than two years ago. My name is Sugar Love. It's normal that my house is called House of Love. And uh, why should I do or even dare to to play with this saying that what is this? Creating House of Love also. There are plenty of House of Love. There are some cabarets, House of Love. There are some um, brothel called house of love for christ's sake why do i have to to be angry or saying that uh, somebody's copying me but now in, in the other hand if some people are saying that i am copying rupaul or whatever that's not true that's a lie and uh, i don't care if people think about that uh, uh, if people think like this Okay, my darling, so, but I, I thought it was funny, what's really funny. And I said, well, you know what? It can be nice because people can talk about House of Love, RuPaul's uh, House of Love. And then they will say, oh my God, there is another House of Love, Sugar Love. But uh, that's it. This is what I want to say. My voice is already going away, fading away. But anyway, I'm here to tell you that I love you. Thank you so much for your love. And stay tuned for more. Bert, got to run for an appointment, which I could stick. Okay, Bert, no worries, darling. You can watch it later, okay? My darlings, I go now. And stay tuned for more uh, about the pictures and everything, all right? Play safe, stay safe. And uh, yeah, I will see you very, very soon. Love you. Bye-bye, my darlings.